This is Miami All Access. So it was a really physical series. Um, it seemed like each game told a different story. So can you kind of, you know, just walk through the series as a uh, whole and, you know, explain your takeaways? Well, I, I th first of all, I, 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 the things that happened this weekend were exactly what I thought would happen, what we planned for, uh, a tough series, one that could go three games, um, tight series. Uh, they play hard. They play physical. I thought Friday night – um, we got a couple of bounces. They, you know, they had some real good looks, and you know, we made a nice play at the end to, um, to score the goal. Saturday, I thought, you know, we played hard, but they executed on their chances and and, uh, and made us pay. And then tonight, I thought we played pretty hard right from the get go, and um, we executed. And uh, they kept pushing a big time stop on five on three on on Morrison by Jay Williams. Um, after that, we were just getting pucks pucks out of our zone and trying to play good team defense. And um, you know, I think, uh, as I told the guys in the locker room, I was really proud of them. Uh, our whole coaching staff was proud of them. Um, it's not easy to play game three in a deciding game. And uh, they played hard. And my hat goes off to Western Michigan, too. They, they played hard. And uh, we're happy to be going back to the target center. Um, so you were able to kill off five Western Michigan penalties tonight. So can you talk about what was working for your special teams? Well, I thought early we did a real good job of keeping them to the outside, not allowing them to penetrate, especially on their breakouts and, and their entries. And uh, then they got the five on three, and then it's all about your goaltender and blocking shots. And I thought Jay did a great job. So, um, you know, he deserves a lot of the credit there at the end. And does finishing the series with a shutout give you any extra momentum heading into the semis? Well, we're, again, we're just going to go and – Prepare well for uh, for Denver, and uh, we saw them a couple of weeks ago. It's going to be a heck of a game, and um, they're extremely talented. Their power plays lights out. They've got some seniors that are really good, and um, you know we're going to have to play our best just like any other night, and uh, uh, hopefully we can do that. Look, you're just on fire in this series. Um, you had eight points total in three games, and after last night, you're the 50th player in Miami history to reach 100 career points. So what does that mean to you um, in your last series at Goggin? Uh, it's, it's pretty special. Uh, tonight was a really emotional game for me and uh, the rest of my class, but uh, nobody reaches that mark without the help of their teammates. So uh, shout out to everybody you know, that I've played with, and uh, it's a team effort, and I'm just happy, to, happy that we got the wins. And I, this happened Friday, but I have to ask. Um, I'm sure you saw the picture. So you're channeling your inner Bobby Orr there <laughs> on that diving goal in the third. Um, so can you kind of walk through that play and what was going through your mind? Uh, it's just it resulted from Murph's hard work. He dogged the puck and, uh, you know, Barber uh, got open. I slid the puck to him and I mean, he just made a perfect pass and all I had to do was get it on net. So, uh, again, it's just teammates making plays and trying to help him finish them off. Um, so, Jay, you had a shutout in a crucial third game. Uh, can you kind of, you know, explain what that means to you and um, just walk through the game tonight? Well, you know, first and foremost, the most important thing is obviously we got the win and we're moving forward and we have, have an opportunity to uh, to play next week, play for a championship in Minneapolis against, uh, I think we played Denver. So that's uh, that's what the focus is on now. But, I mean, for me, you know, shut out, shutouts are tough to come by. I think they're, they're kind of one of those nights where, you know, you, you got to get a couple breaks. And obviously, I mean, I, I think more than anything, it's a – you know, a, a testament to the team defense. The guys were unbelievable, blocking shots in front of me. Um, you know, caught a couple. Uh, we were fortunate with a couple of those disallowed goals. I know that the guy kicked the one, and then I think it was interference on the other. So, I mean, there's you know, there's nights where those those calls don't go your way, and you have to respond. But uh, you know, the shutout's nice, but really, it's you know, the win that, that that's important. So, does finishing the series with the shutout give you guys any extra momentum heading into the series with Denver? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the, the biggest thing, you know, momentum, we, we, you know, played a great team game. We played three full periods. You, you score four goals, uh, you know, you defend well. Uh, I mean, I, I think that we have a lot to feel good about moving forward. And I, I think, you know, anytime you get a big win at home and, you know, with, with the seniors playing their last game at the Goggin and, you know, with the home crowd the last time they'll get to see us play, I mean, it's exciting. And I think there's, you know, just so many positives we can build from and to move into next weekend. Okay, so it was a really physical series. It seemed like each game, you know, told a different story. So can you kind of walk through the series, um, explain your takeaways? 
Yeah, uh, they're a really tough team to play against, and uh, we knew that coming into it. So we knew we, we had to match their intensity, and uh, I think we done, uh, did a pretty good job with that. So I think uh, takeaway is that we can play with some of the toughest teams in the nation. So we're uh, excited about that, and uh, we're ready to move forward. And it seems like you've been on fire ever since your hat trick against <laughs> or Nodak um, last week, uh, really helping with production on, on offense. So what does that mean to you, you know, coming off your last series at Goggin? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a great feeling, you know. Uh, four years here has been special to me, and uh, I got to thank everybody who's made it possible. So I'm just so grateful for the opportunity to be here. And then obviously for production, it's, it's about time. It's happening at the right time for me. So uh, I'm really happy about it, and uh, hopefully we can keep on going with it. And so does finishing this series with a shutout give you guys any extra momentum heading into next week? Well, yeah, I think it gives Jason momentum, you know. I didn't play the first two games, and uh, when he steps up like that and makes a bunch of big saves like that, you know, it's huge for us. So I'm uh, really excited for him and excited about how our team played.